Mariota inside the 10, reaches for the pylon. A little more than 70,000 people are going to see the game here at Levi Stadium. But over 115 million people will see it here on television. You see, this isn't just the broadcast of the Super Bowl. This is the Super Bowl of broadcasts. So 11 tractor trailers full of broadcast tech made their way from the Rockies to Silicon Valley immediately after the AFC Championship game to set up this, the CBS Super Bowl 50 broadcast compound. An amazing array of broadcast tech tied together with 32 miles of cable. So complicated, I've been lost at least once. They've got a map that shows avenues this way and streets this way. Ken Agard is CBS Executive VP of Engineering. His team built all this and runs it. You would like to be sitting in my chair when everything's working. <laughs> when it's not working, it's not necessarily so much fun. But the truth of the matter is, the person sitting at home, they have the best seat. Football is a game of inches, but broadcasting, it's a game of shots. There are 70 camera angles here for Super Bowl 50, 100 camera angles total available in and around the game to a crew working in a place like this. Super Bowl Tech 101, pylon cam. That's right, you see a camera lens there. There's another one over here. Two HD cameras in each of eight pylons. These sit at goal lines and sidelines, and yep, they got microphones too, because what's a hit if you can't hear it? I love seeing a guy go into the pylon because I know we're gonna have that shot. You know, I know that we're gonna have that moment. It's actually even better if the guy goes right up to it and doesn't knock it over because then it even continues. It's definitely gonna get mowed down and we've got our technicians ready to pounce when the pylons get knocked over that they've gotta quickly reset the pylon and the camera inside so we're ready for the next play. Now, a lot of the big cameras we have around the field are actually 5K resolution, even beyond that amazing 4K TV you may have just gotten during the holidays. These high-res cameras let us get more out of close-ups and slow-mos. That's also helped by high frame rate cameras like this that are dedicated to just doing high frame rate and replay in the most smooth action. And we have technology in the booth to stitch a bunch of these cameras together to give you this fly-around angle like something out of the Matrix. And this year, the CBS Super Bowl coverage is going to lean hard into the NFL's next-gen stats technology. This kind of turns every player on the field into a live data node, throwing off data about the speed of a run, the duration, their dynamics on the field, and then putting that into the broadcast in almost real time. Things that human statisticians just can't do. You now have sensors and all the players' shoulder pads, so we know where everybody is. So now it's a matter of taking all that data and trying to be able to make sense of it. And because of that, uh, you know, there's stats that come out every week that we hadn't even thought of. So we're trying to document the story. We've got some great technology, the iVision 360 cameras that are around the light grid, the pylon cameras. I think that's the little, the cherry on top that uh, makes it interesting eye candy for the viewers.